In this tutorial, I'm going to answer one of the questions that I get asked the most often about Affinity Designer. And that is, how do you apply a texture or pattern to a vector shape or type? And the answer is very easily. I'm first going to create a vector shape. I'm just going to do a basic square. As I click and drag, I'm holding down the shift key so that my square remains in proportion. And then to apply the pattern or texture to it, you simply go to the fill tool here, select that, and in this drop down menu where it says solid, just select bitmap, and then select either a TIFF, a PNG, or a JPEG. It's worth noting at this stage that if you want transparency in your pattern or texture, you should pick a PNG. And there it is, it's that easy to apply. The great thing about applying patterns and textures in this way is that you can adjust the proportions using the same tool. So I'll just show you how. So I'm selecting the fill tool again. And what you'll notice is you have these arms here. And if I want to change the proportion, I simply move one of them like so. If you want to lock the proportions, simply select the maintain fill aspect ratio button here and then it just scales proportionally. You can use the same tool to rotate the pattern as well. So simply drag it around like that. And you can also move the pattern within the shape. If you're likely to be applying the same pattern to multiple objects, it might be worth saving um, this as a style. To do that, make sure you have your shape selected and go to the Styles tab, add a new Styles category, which I've already done, and then you can rename the category there, which I will call Vintage Pattern. And then simply go to add style from selection and as you can see you have a little icon here which uses your pattern so for example if I then wanted to apply the pattern to some text I'd simply type some text and click on the style this process works exactly the same in affinity photo as well